I've helped collectors buy and sell millions in rare collectibles. The sale prices in this video are all backed by real data from top auction houses like Heritage. I know what makes coins and currency valuable, and in today's video, I'll break that down for you. We're going over some incredibly rare coins that honestly you could retire from depending on your financial situation. Without any further ado guys, let's hop right into this video with this first coin. So this is what we call a wheat cent penny. Now a lot of us are very familiar with this coin, but it's important to realize that 1909 was the first year of issue for this coin. Really quickly, let me tell you, this coin sold for $102,000. So 1909 had four different types of coins made for the wheat penny. You've got the 1909 VDB, you've got the 1909 SVDB, you've got the 1909, and you have the 1909 S. So four different varieties. The ones you want to have are the ones that say VDB on the back. 1909 SVDB is the coin that you want for 1909. Just understand that. That is the biggest point here. One, if your coin has VDB on the back, that's a good thing. Two, if your coin has SVDB, even better because look at this coin. It got graded by PCGS at a mint state 67 red and it sold for $102,000. $108,000 for this 1944 coin. It is a zinc coated steel planchet coin. So in 1944, all coins should have been struck on a bronze copper planchet, but instead this one accidentally got that zinc coated steel scent planchet. So the reason for that is in 1944, the US needed bronze for ammunition, so they transitioned into the zinc coated steel scent planchet coins. This one, because it was struck in the wrong piece of metal, sold for $108,000. This is crazy. This coin sold for $105,000. This is called a clover leaf Eisenhower dollar. So there were three undated pieces of dime metal that this coin was struck on. So this is definitely intentional. I don't care who you are. Someone intentionally put three different pieces into this hopper, struck the coin, and then said, hey, look at this cool thing that I made. And guess what? They turned it into a hundred and five thousand dollars this 2001 d coin sold for one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars it's crazy because you would never imagine this 2001 coin would sell for so much money pc just graded this coin at a mint state 66 now you'll understand why when you flip it over to the back you'll see this coin is accidentally muled with a roosevelt dime reverse reverse means the back of the coin obverse means the front of the coin this coin some people will even call an 11 cent coin or a double denomination coin very cool very collectible i would love to have one of these these bad boys in my collection, but $114,000, that's a lot of money, and that could be yours if you have one. All right, so this is a genuine peace dollar. So the US made these coins, they're very cool. 1922, this specific one was an matte finish high relief coin. So essentially, if you have one of these peace dollars and it looks like this, you could have one of these rare coins. The surface of this coin got altered. So someone messed with the coin, they did something they shouldn't have. So PCGS graded this one as genuine, as a proof with details but still it sold for $144,000. Wow, this is a United States genuine Morgan dollar coin, highly collectible, especially if you're able to get your hands on one of these bad boys. So this is an 1895 Morgan dollar coin, PC just graded it at a proof 67 plus. Just crazy here, $324,000. Guys, you wanna be looking for the 1895 $1 proof coin because that's gonna fetch a nice premium. $444,000 for this 1893S $1 Morgan coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 63. Some very key dates we're going over in this video. Morgan dollars, typically, I like to collect them just for their silver content value. I don't typically buy key dates or anything like that, especially because some of the prices can get incredibly up there in price. Just know this, if you have a key date on a Morgan dollar, it could bring substantial money and you could be sitting on a gold mine because this example sold for $444,000. If you guys wanna learn more about coins and currency, we have a completely free coin and currency ebook down below. Check that out. No strings attached. We will see you guys in the next video.